What's up, Woodford? What's up, Woodford? Corey here. And Emily. We're here. I still am happy to have you here. It's so still happy. weird that you're here, but it's... Oh, me. Yeah, I thought you meant them. Oh, you guys yeah. and, and Emily. <laughs> and Emily. But, uh, yes. But, uh, man, so... Week two into this, uh, coming back from our live show we did uh, uh, last yeah. week. What'd you guys think? We yeah. Know. What What'd did you think? You, was it good? I mean, would you keep doing it? Because we're thinking we'll continue to do it, maybe. I think it was pretty fun, and I think I can do it. Now I got my competitive spirit, and now I think I can do it better. I think we can do it better next time. So yeah. uh, well, not, the fact, not that that was bad. I just think that I think there's things that we can improve upon. I'm excited. I want to make it cool yeah. and fun and interactive and crazy. I want to know if we go out and about, do one at, on a site, yeah. would you guys come? Like, would you guys want to come yeah. have a drink, have a meal? Like we do them out at a restaurant or a bar or wherever. Would you want to come, come hang out? Yeah. yeah. I, that, I, get ice cream, whatever, wherever we do it. We'll but. do it out in public somewhere and just get wild with it. <laughs> and, but then uh, to spice it up as well, uh, moving along into our, our favorite presented by sponsors here, Kinetic. Uh, Kinetic by Kinetic by Winch. That sounds like a makeup company. Kinetic. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're thinking of Clinique. 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 Hey, yes. do you know what Kinetic uh, means? It's it's connection. It's kine- It's Kinetic connection. It's broadband. It's internet connecting you to the world. Right? Is that how? <laughs> yeah. Is that kind of where they got it from? I really don't know. I that was really genuinely well, asking. The one, we gotta ask. We gotta ask J- Jen and, and Steph that question. Then, actually, no. We need to ask Madison that question. Yeah. We'll make yeah. sure she's all right after that steak tofu she had. Ooh. <laughs> tofu. Is it tofu or tofu? Tofu. T O F U. Okay, tofu. Yeah. Like kung fu. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of kung fu, I saw uh, Shang Shang Chi. I think is how it's pronounced. Um, You're asking me about movies. Uh, I. Hollywood theater. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And Marvel and movies and everything. But anyways, uh, Shang Chi, I believe, is how it's pronounced, and um, it was really good. And it's doing really good. Did you in see theaters it in the too. theaters? Yes. It's a brand new. Oh yeah, movies. yeah. Uh, I always go see Marvel movies, man, in, in theaters. They're oh man, they're they're so good. Um, but this one the, is really um, good. They had a taverns? lot of kung fu in it. Huh? Do you do the movie taverns thing, like the IMAX type? Situation. You know, I used to work at Movie Tavern. Uh, but <laughs> Another job. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, we haven't been to the Movie Tavern in, in a little bit, but uh, we went to the one by the mall, the Fayette Mall, oh, gotcha. I think. The, the Fayette Cinema or something like that. But yeah. no, really good movie. But but yeah, so Kinetic, uh, Squirrel, um, <laughs> presented like by that. sponsor, really awesome people down there. Uh, we're going to have kind of like a G- Jeopardy type situation where we call on Jen each episode to ask us a good question right. and uh whoever uh well i guess that's one variation of it we're going to answer these questions but it may not be us it may be somebody else mm-hmm. it could be someone else could be somebody else uh and if they get it right or wrong however much they get right or wrong against another person maybe uh on the live show there's going to be an hum- a humiliation and right now we're doing pies in the face yep well, I wouldn't call it humiliation. I would just say it's it's fun. It's what is fun. that from, though? They called it humiliation. Uh, oh, gosh. I don't know if I should. Kids probably shouldn't watch this show. But um, Kenny versus Spinny. Never heard of Never it. Never heard was, of it? What was that? Is that it, an 80s? It's 90s? two guys that are just in this house that do competitions with each other. And they're the most dumbest thing. Like, who can keep a dead squid on their head the longest? <laughs> Was this an MTV thing then? Or? Ooh, that's a good question. I think it was Comedy Central. Okay. Let me, I'm not sure, but yeah. it's, it's not on anymore. Uh, but I was obsessed with him because Kenny was so funny. Kenny usually would would cheat somehow and, and work around the r- rules. And yeah. Spinny uh, would um, – he was always uh, trying to play by the books and win honestly. And to make – you know, to, to – So who are we in that situation? So would, would you say I'm more – Kenny or Kenny? I don't you know. Like, I don't are know. You, are That's you interesting. The, yeah. Are you the here? Like, yeah. Well, you're not only usually the ones that you are, you you make the rules, and then you. So I, I think I think somehow you you we, you're we able together, to bend them a little bit. We together make the rules. Mm-hmm. We discuss ahead of time. <laughs> hey, I, I can't help. I can't help that I have a win all win. the time. Yeah. Ah well. <laughs> so you think? Do you think we should ask them what? Do you think we should ask the viewers who they want to see? Yeah, want? that would be great. Uh, I would love some some 
uh, advice on who should we see? Because obviously there's the regular players, right, right that we right. usually have on. I'm going to – you go ahead and name drop. Cause I, I, You're I, so nervous to even name drop. Go ahead. Name <laughs> drop them. You th- well, you guys have seen them a put lot. Put them on blast. Games. Okay, all right. On blast. Of course, we do our mayors and our judge, Brian, Grayson, and James, <laughs> are our normal targets. Um, but we are open. So we want to know who you guys want to see do the pie in the face challenge. Now, granted, if they get these questions right, they don't have to do the pie in the face. But – should they lose? Should they not get them right? They uh, can't. You know what? We'll do. Oh, this will be funny. Okay. If we did like a, if they got all the questions right, we had to do like a rock paper scissors or lightning round to see which one of us gets the pie in the see, face. See, he makes up rules too as he goes. I, it's not just me. You guys just because I'm trying because <laughs> you skip the food eating. You skip. It's like God. Gee, God yeah. <laughs> anyway, better party one. Table's now available. Um, <laughs> so yes. So. If we want to know who you guys want, it could be one of those three or it could be somebody else. So if you guys have somebody, the peop- the person that gets the most comments, whoever you guys, the yeah. overwhelming response from yeah. you guys, we'll bring them in and we'll, we'll put them through the pie challenge. Yeah. Totally. Totally. So that's, so every live we'll have that, um, that. It, that that I, pie. I don't want to call it a humiliation, but yeah. I mean, it's, it's a, it's a, that contest. So that'll be fun. That'll be fun. So stay tuned. Stay tuned for that. That's right. Don't get, you don't want that pie in your face. <laughs> um, Just drop them in the comments. That's how you can let us know. Bloop, bloop, bloop. bloop. Speaking of bloops, bloop speaking me of, some, speaking bloop of, bloop you on over. Bloop me some wine in that glass. Yes, because so, we're yeah. still talking pups, right? We're still talking, and the reason um, we're, it's 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 Alicia gave it to me because she knows I love segways and how much I love to mention, which defeats the purpose of a segway. Thank you, milady. Um, <laughs> is that she gave us the dog wine so that after a wine not after we wine a little bit, we can go right into the Midway Fall Festival, um, and we're gonna actually Alicia has some things to say. This, um, what do you always say? What kind of pour is that? I mean, it's to the line. Yeah. Oh, it's but a country club pour. A country club pour, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's healthy. Yeah. Well, it's funny. The line's more of a suggestion anyways. You can easily go above it. But, yeah, but it's uh, it's good stuff, man. You can tell I've been off the bandwagon. This much makes me a little nervous. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, that's that's awesome. I love it. I love it. Uh, I'm glad you're seeing. No, I, can, I, I saw her sip it. It is yep. so bizarre to see you actually, like, because it's been ghost sips since we basically yeah, started. Yeah, since we started. Yep, that's so true. I, we keep saying it. We got to make a shirt just for ghost sips and for because we, so we, everybody knows who who someone's that's done that before. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. It's funny the people that do have beverages out, adult beverages. The first time you don't, like as a woman, everybody is on you. You know, oh, you could God. just not have yeah. one one night, and everyone's like, "She's you know, pregnant." Cool. Yeah, you pregnant? Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. No, that's funny. Um, mm. So yeah, so tell us about the pups. What's happening? Or is Alicia gonna tell us? Well, before the pups, should we just before the pups? We're whining. We need to. Whine. I got. I got some. We got some whining to do. That's right. And it came from a conversation before the show. We were talking just about how silly, um, how silly security camera footage is. Like, what in the world is going? on? It's 2021, and you've got security cam footage out there. It looks like it was shot on like <laughs> a. 1988 yes like what is going on out there that is the most bizarre like how could you not how can you not enhance enhance and and get a 3d rendering of every single like wasn't that just that would solve a lot of crime i feel like yeah i mean kids can there's printers in 3d your ring doorbell i feel like is more of a oh my good gosh. quality camera than my art yeah arlo i have an arlo and it it records in hd I don't so know why Ar- I needed it, but I needed, the- it. <laughs> I needed it. Arlo HD. is your ring brand? Yes, I use Arlo. Okay. Uh, it's it's good. I like it. It's fine. I put it up, put the cameras up myself. It goes through my phone. I'm dinged every single time. Uh, I mean, you know, and you just never know. Nine times out of ten, well, for me, it's always, it's 
four o'clock in the morning or so, five o'clock. It's a cat. It's we have two neighborhood cats <laughs> that like to sulk around, and they are like the funniest thing because the light, that light. I mean, I have a light that pops on, and it is an LED, like it is a light. Yeah. <laughs> and it just, it just like kind of walks and like does this thing where it's just like if, if I, if, if I had. If I oh, I want to see your cat impression. Let's but see. I'm gonna do it like as a, as a human. So like. The camera's up here, right? Okay. Over here. I'll yeah. be, the camera's up here, right? Uh -huh. And the light. Psh, so the cat walks. <laughs> like the cat's just like. So good. And the light comes on and he goes. Oh, couldn't be, couldn't like be bothered. Keeps, couldn't like, be bothered. Yeah, right. <laughs> and I just sulks. Like sometimes yeah. I don't even turn around. Just does that, does that just real cool. Yeah. Cat walk. <laughs> like, gosh. That's, like, so, that's the most cat thing I've ever heard. But, you know, I mean, I, luckily, you know, I haven't had any, had to use it for any type of, you know, vandalism or anything weird or anything. Have but you caught any good moves off of it, though? You know, those like during the ice storm. And I like, can't put anybody on blast. But yes, we caught, <laughs> we, we did catch somebody once talking some smack, but I don't want to, I don't want to put anybody on blast. Oh, it was funny. That, that's a whole other level. Yeah. We I were was like, just, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. Hmm. Um, yeah, I didn't even think about that, the voice. I was just thinking more about, like, you know, uh, during the ice oh, storm, yeah. people were posting some Slipping. slips. And, you know, this thing get me every time. That would be so That would be so funny. No, we haven't caught anything funny like that that I could think of. Um, we've we've caught um, in the back door. I could probably find it. I wonder if, that, if I have it saved somewhere. There was this horse fly that loved the camera, and he would... And he like would just Zip sit around. on our camera. I wonder if it was the light or the heat or like. I don't know. What. Maybe just big old fly, horse ooh, fly. Ooh, ooh, yeah. I wonder if that's a southern thing too. I mean, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, you know what I'm talking about. The yeah. big old black horse fly. I mean, the, yes. They take. I mean, they'll take a chunk out of you. Yeah, they are vicious. Um, our speaking of cats, our neighbor's cat. They have two, and um, they love our yard. And now that I'm home a lot right now, I see these cats pop up everywhere. We have a glass front door, and I'll look over, and, like, the cat will just be, like, at my door, like, looking at us. <laughs> I'm like, hey, buddy. Yeah. It's the funniest thing. Hey, you got anything to eat yeah. in there? Got any nippers? Got any cat nippers? Cats are so fun. They're, like, a crazy creature. Anyway. I could sit on TikTok all day and watch cats. Cats and dogs, really. I mean, maybe that's something we should do. I wonder the legality of that, if I can collect like your favorite like I, and some, you don't want to admit it but uh, you're probably on tiktok but and and you think you're too old but tiktok um you're not too old for tiktok now we're not too old right it's no old. gosh come on uh we're on tiktok what's up woodford That's is right. on tiktok so right. if you're on tiktok you want to see we, i try to clip them down to the best kind of parts of the segment so um uh, go on there like us and then if you want to see some more funny stuff we'll, I, I've, been, I've been tinkering around maybe with making some TikTok specific content, so that would be that could be that could be fun. But so, yeah, I mean we're Pokemon and we're TikTok and we're, yeah. we're all the things. S send uh, yeah, you can send us because uh, you can share videos mm -hmm. between people, so you can share us uh, cat videos, dog videos. Oh, uh, yeah, do that. that. There's some good ones on there. I'll we'll put them on the we'll we'll watch them together on, on the show. But before we move, speak speaking of dogs of canines uh before we get into that um alicia down at the wild side they're they are getting ready they're they're getting ready to get a, a semi full of these grapes i cannot wait and we, we she wants us to come down there because she's like you need to, like you say it and you're like okay but like you see a truck like a, a tractor semi, trailer, a tractor tra yeah. full of great. It's just a whole other thing. I have pictures. I'm like, I, in my mind, they like fall out. Like they open the back door and they fall out. I know that's not how it happens, but is that not your like, image? You know, <laughs> like they're just loose grapes. Yeah, like I feel like we're gonna be sitting at the edge of it and it's gonna be like plow. We're gonna just fall over. They're just I loose grapes. You open the door, and they just boom, yeah. like all come out. That's Do hilarious. Do images always pop in your head of like how things will be? That's my mind just goes like. Boing. I was not thinking loose grapes. I was thinking like I don't know like. And then we'll end up being maybe? like the um, uh, that cranberry juice commercial where they're standing in the cranberry. Oh, that field of, of yeah, yeah, that yeah. is that that's bizarre. Yeah, that's what I feel like we'll be doing. Like the yeah. grapes will all come out, and then we'll just be like waiting. And or that classic clip where that that lady um, is like a I guess a journalist, and she's like stomping the grapes, and she goes real fast, yeah. and then she trips and goes oh 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 oh. 
<laughs> like on the ground. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that that one that's that one's really funny. We but, squirreled again. Uh, but West uh, mm-hmm. West Coast series is what she's is what she's calling it. She's getting these mm-hmm. uh, grapes, grapes from the from the quality West grapes. Coast. Yeah, quality West Coast. You can do far out. I wonder if you can do like Woodford County. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, you do it in Woodford County. Oh yeah, the West Coast. Can you do yeah. that? <laughs> um, but yeah, and then uh, she also hinted, Emily. Mm. Uh, do tell that we we could be inching closer to our very own what's up Woodford wine, dude. Dreams do come true. Corey. How crazy is Dreams that? Dreams do come true. That would be so awesome. I mean, not to mention our own uh, like what's up Woodford bourbon one day, which would be great. I, I always I want I, we're still looking. I still want a bourbon sponsor. Yeah. We, we need a bourbon spot. I mean, we're Kentucky, right? Kentucky. We're Woodford County. We, we, we could sip on some wine and wine and then end the show with our bourbon sponsor, right? Cheer, cheers to our yeah. bourbon. Yeah. For, oh, for sure. For sure. Faux show. So look forward and looking forward to that. But I hear Alicia had a really cute little companion with her when she came back. Baby Axel was here and that he he's a head turner. <laughs> he's going to be a handsome man. Um I love little baby Axel. Uh, he's so full of life, and he's just was rolling. Oh my gosh, rolling around! He's start, he's trying. I can tell in his eyes he wants to crawl. He just seems like a cool dude, you know. He's you a very cool. A kid I mean, his name like, is Axel, dude. Cool dude. Yeah. <laughs> How cool is that? Yeah, he's he's a boater already. He's yeah. He's, well, let's. He lives on a winery. And he does. does. Yeah, he does. Uh, so, well, let's hear from baby Axel. So we'll we'll move right on into okay. our midway fall festival segment here. Uh, uh, they, it's getting ready to come. We all know Midway Fall Festival. Uh, we started this huge campaign of we want to see your doggos, <laughs> and got you are sending us. I mean, we have to have at least a hundred entries so far. It's awesome uh, of of dogs of, the, of these dogs stories. that are excited to go to the to the festival because yes. they can right. And some of the stories too, like the dog stories that go along with the post. I'm like, ah. That I did not expect, and that I'm really happy that they've done um, because it's. <laughs> Some of them, I mean, like, I, you know, get me teary. I mean, some of them are very good, very heartfelt. So um, I'm sc- we're scrolling through. We're seeing some pictures of some dogs right now. Uh, and I'm showing, I'm also showing Emily. Sometimes, see, there's uh, Myra's uh, little pup there. Cute. Cute, cute. Ash- uh, Ashley Simonis. Simonis. Oh, those pups. Look those at are them. the ones I said are making a heart. Their bodies together make a little Aww. heart. That oh, oh, and that's, oh, yeah. yeah did you see it? You get it? I get it. I get it. <laughs> Blog party coming. So yeah. So, sacred bonds. Chris Hearn. Oh my gosh. Yeah. See, like, look at that. It Hugging precious. on the trampoline. Aww. Guys, it doesn't get any cuter than that. Get out of here. These. Po- oh my. Some I have see. I can't stop. On. I mean. <laughs> That's awesome. Eat your heart out. That is so cute. So yeah, so you're seeing some some dogs right now, but but let's let's hear what Baby Axel has to say about the Midway Fall Festival. Midway Fall Festival and this baby. <laughs> Look how cute he is. How's it going, Alicia? It's fantastic. How are you? Great, man. Just wanted to have you on uh, to talk a little bit about Midway Fall Festival. Uh, you guys are our monthly sponsor this month, and we've just you know created awareness. Oh yeah, and the dog contest that everybody's entered in. I mean, you've seen these dogs? I have. They're super duper cute, and they're so. all excited about going to the Midway Fall Festival because they it's are. pet friendly. Yes, yes, we're definitely pet friendly. You want to bring them on a leash, but you'll find lots of dog water bowls throughout the festival because all, the folks of Midway love dogs. Yes, um, and so it'll be fantastic this Friday. Um, or yeah, this Friday at six, bef- the Friday before Midway Fall mm-hmm. Festival, I'll be there while they set up live. We're gonna do the drawing there, so you're gonna want to watch that to see if you to see if you won. Everybody who put a dog, everybody who posted their dog's picture, their excited dog's uh, picture, will go uh, in that list. So I'm excited. Yes, me too. Me too. Are you excited? Oh, stage fright. <laughs> stage fright. He went to grab for it. Yeah. <laughs> So tell me, Alicia, what, uh, tell me a little bit about uh, what's going on at Midway Fall Festival. Uh, well, so, so super exciting. We, um, 
We've actually expanded this year. I do want to mention that. So things are going to look a little different just because, you know, COVID's still a reality. Sure, right. Um, so things are going to be spaced out a little more similarly to what they were at Francisco's Farm Art Fair. Yes, um, okay. That's right. And so we, we were out there too. Yes, so we've actually taken over an area that we've never used before for mm. Fall Festival, the grassy area that is the canopy. And if okay. you come down to Cypress Hill and park there, the golf yeah. carts will actually drop you off in the new area. Oh, cool. Um, we'll also have... Um, uh, 10 or so hand sanitizing stations, free oh, okay. masks throughout the festival. Right. We are going to ask folks to wear masks if they go indoors to the shops or the restaurants. Makes sense. Um, so we're doing all the things we can <laughs> to help keep folks safe during fall festival. Ultimately, it's an outdoor event, and COVID doesn't travel well outdoors. Yeah, so we're right. hoping that helps us out. And, you know, spaced out. The vendors have, you know, it's super, super uh, safe there. Yeah. Uh, I know. <laughs> I can't even contain it. I can't contain how excited I am uh, as well. He actually is doing way better than I am on camera, so I, I, I commend him for that. So, so that yeah. So the safety protocols are they all there? Everything's there. How many? Do you know how many vendors? Uh, yes, just over two hundred. So, <laughs> just under two hundred. Just over two hundred. So lots of food, lots of crafts, lots of art. Um, I know. I wish there were more. Live music. So yeah, we'll actually have the. Uh, Oh no! Here, I'll hold this. I'll, I'll do that. I'll, I'll hold it for you. Okay. Um, okay. And so we're gonna have about 16 hours of live music on the Country Boy Brewing stage. Which oh, is super cool! Exciting. Um, some folks that are definitely uh, Woodford County favorites. So we'll have Triple yes. Roots and Matt Castle yes. and High Five, um, and just just a wide variety. So yes. um, So that's gonna be lots and lots of fun. So oh, we know. So food, drinks. Um, we're gonna have kids activities. There's yeah. Gonna be free pumpkin painting and free face painting. Um, We'll also have alpacas. Our alpacas will be there. Alpaca. Rosie's ponies doing po pony rides. So, so lots of fun things. Can I? Let, can he? Can he, he hold on to it? He thinks it's his turn. Yes. Do you want to? You want to hold on to it? You can totally help. Tell, tell See, grab it. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Look how big it is in his little hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! I knew it was going shit. Don't worry, they're clean. Straight to his mouth. I clean them before I put them in the bag. Um, so man, I'm excited. 200 vendors, uh, country boy, uh, boy brewing s stage. You got Trippin' Roots. Uh, you said Matt Castle. So you got the Woodford County favorites, and you've got some other, uh, you know, anybody that we don't know. I mean, everything that we. I mean, there there are several musicians. If you look at the lineup, that are. I mean, there are a few oh, that are going to be new to the festival. So. I wonder how you can look at the lineup. Uh, hmm. Definitely, you can go to midwayfallfestival.com. You can check out our Facebook page, which is just Midway Fall Festival. Um, so, so both great ways to check that, that information out. All those things that I have here around us. So yes. um, thank you so much, Alicia. And thank you so much, baby Axel. You're a natural. That's what, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, just uh, what was Van Halen? Is that who used to scream into the mic? <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, back, oh, we're going to go back to the studio. He, I mean, he's gonna, he could easily replace Dorm. me. Oh, well, I mean, I'm out. If he went <laughs> yeah. to show spot, I'm out. Oh my gosh, he's awesome. He had a lot to say too. So uh, we love Baby Axel, we love Alicia, and we love the Midway Fall Festival. I'm looking at their Facebook page right now. Um, it's Midway Fall Festival, uh, and it's at at Meet Me in Midway. So if you want to tag it, but Midway Fall Festival, uh, it is uh, September 18th, 19th, uh, and it's uh, 10 to 10 on Saturday and 10 to 5 on, on Sunday. Go to midwayfallfestival.org, and um, it's got vendors. It's got applicate. Well, I don't think you can uh, uh, I think apply it's sold anymore. out, yeah. yeah. But it's, it it's got, it's got, they got everything. Um, yeah, and then definitely do, you know, as Alicia mentioned, the contest, um, enter to win, still time to get your doggy pictures in, yeah. and we're giving away cooler cash. Um, yes, um, and she even um, uh, posted it on the Midway Fall Festival, and they've got the people posting dogs on there, too. Dogs everywhere. This is amazing. You can never have too many dogs. Look at the, look, I like this pit bull right here. Who, who is this? <laughs> the pit bull. You would Rachel go for the pit here. bull. His name's Mickey. Aww. Look at him. Oh. Pitbull worldwide. He's, he's a big old boy. <laughs> so, yeah, um, Matt Castle will be there. See, they're posting stuff. They're posting. Yes. You got to get on there. They have good Macy entertainment. France. Yes. Good entertainment, good food, great booze. It's going to be a good time. Mm hmm. Absolutely. Hundos, right? Hun Hundo Pacinto. <laughs> so, 
Ask the experts. Say that five times fast. Go. Ask the expert. Oh, you said ask. Oh, I mean ask. <laughs> oh, no. You're going to have to beep, beep. yourself out. <laughs> beep. Uh, <laughs> that's hilarious. That's never happened before. I will. I will bleep it out. Ask the experts. Ask. Ask the experts. Ask the X. See, it's hard. Uh, yeah, you're going X. X. Yeah, that's what I want to say. I don't want to go Ask that other out. X. Good God. That keg on the end. That's, yeah, that's a hard one. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so ask the experts, man. We've got, like always, we've got our, our Brett with Workout Anytime and oh, Holly. Oh, I love that you called him our Brett. We got our Brett. He's, he's our Brett and our Holly yeah. now. They're, they are regulars. Our people. There are people. We're getting, um, we're getting some good, some good, uh, some good knowledge here from from these two, from these two people. So yeah, let's. I mean, our our expert family is getting bigger. Let's get educated. Let's get educated. Let's do it. What's up, Woodford? I'm going to show you my assistant pull-up machine today. This is actually a two-for-one. It's an assistant pull-up and a tricep dip. I like to put my clients on that are trying to achieve at least one pull-up, which is hard to do for most people. So what we're going to do here is we're going to have Katie go ahead and hold on to the top of this, and then she's going to load herself on. This is the only piece of machine that I have in here that if you actually increase the weight, it actually gets easier because it counterbalances your weight. Usually I have her go all the way down and then she'll just come up just like that, making a nice controlled slow motion. And then Katie, if you wanna go ahead and step off. And then what I have for assisted tricep dips is I put these in and you'll get back on the way you came. She'll hold on to those and she'll just dip down to 90, just like that and come right back up just like that. I usually do about three sets of 10. If you're going to do any kind of set in your upper body workout, that should do about three times a week. Hey, I'm Christy Fryman. As I previously mentioned, I'm the lash artist here at Moxie Style Studio. Holly is having a two-week fill-in, so I'm just going to show you the process. It takes about 45 minutes to an hour for fill-ins, and so once you clean and prep the lashes, you have to isolate each single lash. And so there's a single lash there, and pick up a lash, dip it in glue, and then just pop it on that single lash and hold it for about three seconds. Let it go and it's part of your lashes. As simple as that. Strong. I know, don't you just feel strong looking at, you're like, I've done that workout. Like you, you didn't uh -huh. even do it. I sat here and drank wine and watched him do it, but I feel The like lashes is what like, Chris was crazy. Because it's like you gotta put, you gotta like glue them on. Oh, that's crazy. That's awesome. All these good people. Good people. Uh, Emily, I need to be current. Sure do. Yeah, sure do. <laughs> mentioned the tennis courts if you guys um Corey can you show them a picture of these nice fantastic tennis courts there you go Bing, like bewitched um, <laughs> or is it this one you're looking at it oh that's the genie the genie one yeah um anyway so genie. definitely check out these tennis courts guys they are awesome but they are going to have some training so for adults they have two sessions an apprentice session so kind of a starter and then apprentice. second serve um they also have adult, adult volleyball, um, fall basketball clinic, girls fall volleyball clinic, parents night out option. This parents night out option, you guys, is coming right up. Um, the, the deadline is, well, it's, um, yeah, the deadline is September 17th and October 15th. Or those are the dates they are. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason I say that, they're, they're Friday nights, uh, you'll never get anything cheaper. It is $15 a child, and that includes dinner and a snack. Um, so it is awesome. Um, but parents sign out. They can have a fun time at Falling Springs. Taekwondo is coming up. Lifeguard Taekwondo. certification, swim lessons. 
Finkle Toe Dance, and then Fall Break Camp. So you definitely want to get in. Um, there's a 10% off each additional child that you register for the Fall Break Camp. Mm-hmm. And then I wanted to mention, too, they are doing something right now um, just for a few more days. So September 17th is the last day, um, but they are having a back-to-school pass schedule. So it's like a 35% off savings, which is yes. amazing. Um, so... Definitely check that out. They have their passes online at the, on their website, which we'll put up here. Um, but then check out all of their programming, too. And then, of course, their gym memberships. Guys, we're starting to get in the holiday mood. We need not wait till January 1 to get our workout on. Yeah. Summer's over. You're, you're <laughs> more inside. You need to get moving. Get the, your all of the food over. holidays are coming up. Right. Like Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thanksgiving. God. Halloween, Christmas. Yeah, it starts with the candy at Halloween, oh. and it just goes downhill from there. Yes. So, yes, check it out, Falling Springs. Falling Springs. Parks and Rec. Parks and Rec. Some other things around the community. Um, we have the run for, for DC 5K, mm-hmm. which I think is like a little over three miles. I think it's 3.1 miles, I think, something like that. I, I'm not um, – I double. You should double check me on that. I think it's three point two. Three point two. Three point two. Yeah, I, th- I think. I was off by a point. No. <laughs> uh, run for DC. It's a great. Uh, Simmons does it um, to take their their fifth grade kids, fifth grade students to to Washington DC. Um, you know, it, it's history there, and these kids, uh, you know, really want to go. You know, they really want to get out and see this stuff. So. Um, it's going to be September 25th uh, at 8 a.m. I'm actually thinking about doing this. I'm actually thinking about doing this, Emily. You I, are? I, are you um, still running? I'm still ru- I'm running. I'm at five miles a day now. I'm running five miles a day. And, well, oh, 3.1. You're right. I was right. It's 6.2 and 3.1. Toot, yeah. toot. <laughs> Guess what? That was a question for the pot. No, I'm joking. Uh, so uh, <laughs> Monday through Friday, yeah, I'm running I'm running five miles. So I think I can do this. Um, it just makes me nervous, but I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it for the kids. Uh, and I really missed out. I was going to do the Southside Color Run, and I, oh. I should have done that. I feel so bad. And then this so past bad. weekend was the Brothers Run. But you know what you oh. can sign up for still is the Santa Run in December. I'll be there. I'll do it. Speaking of. Speaking of. Speaking of. Am I, am I still a, Am I still emceeing for the Twilight Festival? You are. You're okay, all right. out a promotion, you all. No, all one, right. no one's talking about it, but we need to, mm. we need to give him the due, due respect. We'll talk about that in the business circle. Okay. Um, they are at 62 runners right now. They need 200. So I'm going to do it. September 25th, uh, 8 a.m. Uh, one way I can do this, I can sign up, is I can go to runfordc.com, or actually you can go to Simmons before 4 uh, p.m., and, and, and sign up there. They're gonna have live music, face painting, food. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good time for everybody. And it's for the kids. And it, for the children. So um, they're at 62. And I just I just shared it from our group too. So um, I, I shared the post. So sh- you should be able to go to our private group if you're interested. Go straight from there. All their information's on Facebook because I mean it's Facebook. Yeah. So right. yeah. Everything's there except for everything is on Facebook except for I have to point out Corey last week. You had a piece what? of paper with all these details on it that you had written down. And I made a comment about not using technology. And you said sometimes there's just a time and place for paper and pen, which I agree. But <laughs> today yes. you said, where is that paper? And you crumbled it up and you threw it and then you ended up throwing it away last time. I crumbled it up, threw it at the camera, and now it's gone. Because <laughs> once it goes in the trash, I can't deal with it anymore. I'm one of those. I'm, I can't. Yeah, we're not we're not retrieving out of the trash. Nah. But anyway, you recovered well. But I just wanted to point that out. I could find it really, but you, but you know, paper and pen. But yeah, I mean, well, I wrote it down and it came back to me. So maybe there's something about writing it down. You maybe know, just writing it. That down. That was the lesson learned. Very good. Uh, one more thing I do want to mention is uh, Festival of Trees. Um, it's a cause. It's a nonprofit. It it it, it sponsors uh, Woodford County Young Life and Shop with a Cop. Uh, two very. Uh, I just I love helping the kids, man, and because and, like you can't. I mean, you can't really go wrong there. No. Shop with a Cop is really cool. Um, we actually uh, last year. Remember last year? Didn't they like they they got so many entries that they 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 get filled up the their they're like they had at the police station that the big red letter thing yeah and it filled it up they yeah. had they had, to, they had to get rid of it they couldn't do it anymore uh so so yeah so it's a big big um cause and woodford county festival of trees is one of those big reasons why it's uh it's it, it does so well so that's right um 
you can go to uh, wcfestivaloftrees.org for information or you can email uh, wcfestivaloftrees at gmail.com uh, uh, to figure out um, how to uh, participate. But uh, as far as I know, I know that this year they're going to do it like they did last year, which is in the window of your business. You can right. either um, put a tree in your window or you can, uh, if you don't have a window, you can find another business to, to do a tree. And uh, you, if you don't want to do a tree and just give money, you can do that too. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, all, all the good and things. I think Ricardo's did it without a, um, without a window, just you know, in their business with high traffic. It was yeah, a great, totally. great thing to see. Uh, and then you go around, you see which one you like. Um, and I think Art for the Park, Art in the Park did one, or um, Art Village did one, uh, excuse me, um, at Rolling Oven. That was really nice. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Um, that was colorful. And if you like it, you go and you drop your ticket in there, and, and there you go. I bought a patriotic one last year. I love it awesome mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so yeah there you go that's current i feel pretty current well you thank feel you current? i feel i feel very very current um so that also brings us to you can always be current with woodford weekends right i mean woodford weekends <laughs> wait for it wait for it here it comes um so we have launched guys right now going on it started on the 10th is farm to table when it comes to really eating fresh there's no time for a middleman and where we're from there's no need for one either woodford county kentucky is home to some of the best farms and farm to table restaurants in the state like the spark community cafe in downtown versailles come and experience what eating fresh is really like during woodford county's farm to table week september 10th through the 19th Brought to you by the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, and Woodford County Tourism. So what this is, is we have paired with, partnered up with the Ag Extension Office and all the farmers in Woodford County to bring our year of Fantastic Fair as we round it out for 2021 yep. um, with farmers and chef pairings. But we're not only doing Kentucky Proud, we are truly doing Woodford County Proud. So yep. this is only woodford county locally grown mm -hmm. when we say locally it's not even regionally it's right here mm -hmm. in our backyard it's our neighbors and our friends those vegetables are, you're using in, in your graphics here are delicious look, looking yeah aren't they don't they look great um yeah so it's all local um but there's some really fun ones on there like a bourbon a peach popsicle from the Amson bourbon bar oh and, that's um, cool yeah Callie's has a really awesome cobbler and ice cream and Rolling Oven is participating in Wagon Bones and Purcell's Brewing Company and all awesome. these folks. So there's some great, we'll put the list up here so you can see <clears throat> what you do. You go to those restaurants, you get a passport, you go to at least three restaurants, get your passport stamped, mm -hmm. you can turn it in and be entered to win. So it's an awesome program. It goes till the 19th. So definitely get out and about and tell them that you are there to get a passport for a farm to table week. Come to Woodford County. That's right. For the farm to table. You can actually add to that farm to table to belly that's right <laughs> uh i would love that so Feed that's your soul that's awesome yes oh wow that does look that does look good all those restaurants have has my mouth watering um farm to table rock on man so yeah uh the year of fantastic fair been <laughs> been a great year of fantastic fair i mean we've done a lot of stuff we've we've i mean captured I'm, a ton w reserve Wiffers sure. really i think shine shown the light uh on, on our culinary uh, uh, star power talent yeah. here we and, have here and it's not only the taste it's the people behind it which make oh it really gosh. special oh yeah oh yeah reserve woodford reserve woodford.com reserve woodford on facebook and every all the socials uh get on there always posting something there's always some information um and we all we, sh we share and a, just you know on the group too just playing reserve woodford you do it too right reserve woodford reserve get woodford it? get it <laughs> Yeah, reserve. You can reserve reserve your uh, ho holiday. Reserve your hotel stay. Yep. Uh, reserve your um, um, business lot. Reserve oh, your, your business lot. Your your uh, your reservation at a restaurant. Like yeah. reserve, reserve, reserve. It, it works. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, business circle <laughs> brought to you by Woodford County Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> you can go to Vegas. Oh, uh, you have a you have a. Voice uh, for yes, radio. A vo yes, a voice for radio. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so we are um, with the business chamber. Business, uh, what am I talking about? <laughs> the business circle. Tap me up there, Emily. <laughs> hey, seriously, you want a little more? Yeah, a little bit more. Okay. <laughs> just, I'll gather my thoughts. Oh, yeah, 
Yes. Business circle, man. It's this, It's a networking. It's it's. Uh, we're working with the chamber, and the, the, I mean, there's so much, man. You put there's so many great uh, uh, programs you guys are yes. doing. Yes. So we have emerging leaders, which is mm-hmm. there's no age, ceiling or floor. Anybody yeah. can come to it. This month, September September 21st, we're doing a bourbon tasting at Bluegrass Distillers. Uh, Stop, I right? Love that place. So it's at 3:30 p.m. It's at their mm-hmm. Midway location. So they haven't even opened this. They're giving a special sneak preview to seeing the property, the house. Corey and I've been. Check out I was our house. I'm gonna say, out. yeah. Uh, have they made more progress since we've been there? Yeah, yeah. Rock on. Um, so they're doing a tasting, but it's gonna be a good networking event too. So that's September 21st. Um, and then we also have um, things like our Women in Business. The next one is in October. It's at Eckerd's Orchard um, with Megan Fields. It's going to be fabulous. Mm-hmm. We have a health and wellness roundtable, so we're getting health and wellness that community of an industry together in Woodford County. Yeah. We're doing. We're working on things like a detox center. Um, so we have projects, uh, mental health. Um, senior living and aging and certification there's a lot going on so check us out at our website and get involved with the chamber because it's not just for large industry or whatever you think the chamber might be for we have so much going on for everybody but what we really have for everybody is september 25th is our twilight festival and Corey has a special role. I have, I, have a, I have a tiny baby bitty role that will only be one time because I guarantee I'll be fired uh, <laughs> right afterwards. But uh, no, I'm excited for it. So I, I'm going to be emceeing the, is it going to be the, the chef's showcase? Is that yep. what you guys are doing? Yep. See, I, I, I'm going to, I'm going to, they're going to give me a mic. It's going <laughs> to be dangerous. <laughs> gonna be awesome so yeah. he's gonna interview people like Weta michael and the ladies at the glitz and andrew with rolling oven it's gonna be really fun i love all those people i love them they're they're great we're looking into it uh <laughs> so business circle man well i i love all of our all of our segments but business circle is i mean technically is our kind of our newest one and i'm just so excited for the work we're doing with the chamber and just pushing out everything that they're doing because it's uh it's just so much, and for being a entrepreneur, I mean, you're an entrepreneur. It's just great to have that resource uh, available. So, yeah. cool. and I do want to say because you get asked this question yeah. a lot, Tourism and Chamber have moved in fact together. So Corey and I will take you to the new office. We, we, gotta, we need to do we that. We gotta go. We need to show. You guys have got it real nice and nice and neat. It's and getting there. It's a work in progress. Um, but we're at 126 South Main Street. So if you need us, check us out there. We're open by appointment only right now. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. when I'm back from maternity leave, we'll be open full time. Correct Amundo. Correct Amundo. Here we are. <laughs> We've reached the end of the show. The Out and About brought to you by Rector Hayden for Sales and Becky Baldwin Republic State Mortgage. Um, I, I, obviously, I'm an agent with Rector Hayden as well. I'm one of the participating agents that you're looking at right now. And uh, I have, I literally just called on Becky for her services the other day. So we're not just this, this, we're not just throwing these out on all wimbly bimbly here. We we use and are these, like, you know what I mean? Like these are local people that we know and that we stand behind. So that's right. um, We're really excited. We got a lot of fun things coming with them here, here coming up. Uh, just some, some special feel good stories uh, from, from uh, some of the agents there because you know not only are real estate agents a lot I mean obviously they help you with your transaction but there are a lot of times when they step outside that role and they're you know they're they talk to you about about the product yeah. it could be a real stressful process and they have seen it so many times and you find yourself sometimes just kind of sitting down and talking to them you right. know talking to them about it and same same thing with with Becky, you know, it's it's a it's it's all a part of that 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 time. But why make it so stressful when you could just kind of throw that stress on uh, on the shoulders that were that are meant to meant to take exactly. it? So. It's supposed to be a fun, exciting time, so you want it to be that, right? Exactly, exactly. Let let us. I just took some. Uh, I do real estate photography, and one of the uh, I was at this another gentleman's job. house. And uh, gosh, geez, another job, and. Uh, I was at this gentleman's house and he said, uh, do you need help with moving or doing anything, lights? And I said, no, sir. I was like, that is exactly what we do. I mean, I'm like, because I know a lot of the realtors personally, obviously, that, that hire me. But um, it's like, let us do it. You, you get to, like, this is why we, let, hey, hang back, have fun. Pick out your 
your new man cave stuff yeah. for your new place. Like, like that's what you got to be doing right yeah. now. Let us let us handle the rest of it. So, uh, so it's coming from the heart. That's awesome. It's coming from the heart. And if one thing that also comes from the heart, Emily, I feel like is just artistic spirit. Oh, I love it. Yes, we need more of this. I feel like, you know, the arts don't get enough showcase sometimes you know sometimes I, I think you know you're right you're right and Woodford County has a ton of arts but but uh, we're actually stepping outside of Woodford County a little bit we're going uh, we're going to Lexington only because these people you work closely with these people they want to be involved in Woodford County yep. and they want people they want to they want people from Woodford County they want people that are staying in their hotel to go to Woodford County. Yeah. They're pushing all of our stuff. Yeah. So, hey, I can get behind that. That's right, that's right. And they wanna bring this awesome arts brand. It's something new and creative and innovative. So w our job is to help inform you of what you can do and where to go. And so we felt like this was a really good partnership for us to <sighs> shed some light on it because it's a great opportunity. And you're hearing lots <clears throat> about it in the news and in social media. So we needed to cover it. Too. It's beautiful. Um, I, I'm so happy. You'll see here in a little bit. Uh, uh, my in my interview with 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 them and it was just you know breathtaking you walk up to this place and you're like what a breath of fresh air and all those feelings I was feeling I walked in and that's what they were trying to accomplish yeah. they did it like they were like we want this and they did it and that's exactly invoked the same spirit I did they, they use the term uh, modern southern I think it was or, I like that. Or, it's it, but and that's what it was yeah very cool. So we haven't even told him what it is yet. Elwood Hotel. Yeah, Elwood. The Hotel. Elwood man. You guys are probably hearing that, but yeah, I'm 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 gonna let them, uh, I'm gonna let them talk about it because it, you can't. I mean, you can't do it justice here. Straight from the co-owners' mouths. That's right. Thanks, guys. Uh, be sure to to hop on our Facebook, our private group. Let us know who you want. That's right. For Push for your the pie. Click and tell us. The pie. Who, who's getting the pie in the face? All those things. Cheers, Emily. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Yes. Till next time. See we'll you see later. ya. What's up, Woodford? Or should I say, what's up, Elwood? Right now, <laughs> this place is is awesome. I I'm I'm not in Woodford County technically right now, but we are a hop, skip, and jump away, as Emily would say, uh, which is why we're here because uh, it's this is such a fantastic place. I'm here with David and Hilda, co-owners of the Elwood Hotel. Mm -hmm. And if the background doesn't just already tell you kind of the vibe of this place, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what can. I mean, I've got some B-roll I'm going to share with everybody while we talk. But ha thanks for having me. Thanks, thanks for, for coming, coming out. Really. Yeah, uh, this is uh, another Emily less uh, out and about. So I think I'm getting really good at it. Uh, but but you're, we won't true. tell her. Yeah, yeah well. not true, Emily. <laughs> I have been terrible. Uh, so, uh, guy, please tell me a little bit about, uh, like I said, we're really close to Woodford County. This is an exciting thing to have here regionally. I mean, you guys are bringing people here and then sending people to Woodford County. I mean, how could you not? We're right down the street, right? 100%. 100%. Hilda? Well, no, I, I agree. Look, we're, we're excited to be here in Lexington. We actually started here in Lexington or in Kentucky in different forms. I've been in hospitality for most of my career, started in Northern Kentucky oh, well, and was excited to come back. Then you know what you're doing. Yeah. Exactly, know what we're doing. <laughs> um, and excited to have sort of one of our first investments really come back here. Rock on, man. Bring it, bring it back. Bring it back to Kentucky. Uh, and I mean, so what's the story? I mean, I, I can't, and as, I, as we're talking, I'm showing the uh, like the bar area, right? The lounge area, of the fiddle tree here, the, and, and, and the rooms, the fitness center. Tell us a little bit about where did this vibe, where'd you guys get this idea from? Yeah, so we, we started working with our designers, EOP, okay. um, who did both the architecture and the interiors. And while I was actually born in Lexington. Okay. And, you know, we went to the Campbell House. I was born in yes. Central Baptist. Okay, wow. And All right. as much as we love bourbon and horses, mm -hmm. we did not want yet another restaurant that was full of bourbon and horses. I can dig it. I can dig it. So we, we really, she, Leslie, is her name or our interior designer we worked okay. with her to bring in kind of a combination of the new southern yes and I the modern european so we had our kind of our um our uh, what's the word i'm trying to look for <laughs> awesomeness that's the word i mean <laughs> yes. I, I can't think i mean just just so hip and cool and new and fresh and like you know like i said i mean look these places that are here around like look 
yes, the, the horse, the bourbon, all that stuff, love it. Don't get me wrong. It's perfect where it is. But I'm so happy that this place diverted from that. It, it's such a fresh, uh, new breath that you don't even realize that you want to take. I mean, That's you walk in, it's like, for. this is yeah. so cool. We yeah. wanted, so, we so, wanted you to walk in and be happy. We wanted yeah. that euphoria feel when you walk in. Like, there's a lot of hospitals around us, a lot of tough things that people are experiencing. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to give them a little mini escape when they that came is, back after that. That is beautiful and that is perfect and that exactly that's exactly what this place does it is like i was just uh talking uh, uh St stephanie was showing me around uh and it, i immediately i didn't have to walk in the place i knew my wife was gonna love it and we do a lot of staycations so and i do this because it's like you know we live in we live you know in for we, we live in for sales but it's all the staycation experience for me and this place we gotta we're gonna be here we gotta come here you have to because <laughs> you, you don't have to be some in different state to enjoy this place. You can be here in, in Versailles and Lexington and come here to stay and, and, and it feel like you're, yeah, in some place else. It's great. It feels awesome. Yeah, we, we really wanted to grab the kind of that modern, that new Southern and That's even working Southern. with LexArts on the mural project. Yes. We did oh. a competition. We were blown away of all of wow. the kind of respondents. Yeah. Almost 200. Whoa. We picked a gal. Alex. Yeah, and domestic international. and international. Uh, okay. And our muralist is actually from Canada, Alexandra okay. J. And you're talking about the one outside. Well, and the one and, behind and us. And the one behind us. And down the hallways. And all, yeah, and I got so, some, yeah, we were looking yeah, at that too, yeah. We, we didn't want anything political. We just literally wanted no. people to feel happy coming yeah. in. The colors, yeah. I mean, and, and then outside, it's so, I, can't, I, can't, I keep using these words fresh and new, and, and it, because it, it, you, you're driving by, and I, I don't, I, you know, I don't get, Unfortunately, I don't get in this area enough, but I'm driving by and you look left and it's like, oh, this is, so, uh, uh, and that's the immediate thought. Like, this is so cool. And that's then it just doesn't way. stop as you walk yeah. in the doors, as you look left and right, it just doesn't stop. So that's, you guys, you guys did it. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you guys you. did it. Yeah, we're uh, super proud. Yeah. This, this whole thing, and this room is probably the perfect place to have a conversation. We yeah. call it the conservatory. Ah, ooh, this is our, nice. you know, our so-called private dining room. Yes. And our intent here is because we want to be involved with community directly here, yeah. Woodford County, all along Bourbon Trail. Yes. But with nonprofits, we're doing, we're focusing on a one, a nonprofit for an entire month, every month. Oh, wow. And then having a soiree the last Saturday. Okay. The first month is Lex Arts. Okay. October is the Lexington Humane Society, and we're going to have an animal-themed Halloween party. Oh, that's fun. I don't know. What, what else do you <laughs> want to add? Yappy Hour. Yeah, Yappy Hour. Yappy Hour. Yappy Hour. I think we weren't supposed to let them know that before, before the Humane Society. Okay. Oh, really? we'll, we'll bleep it out. We'll bleep it out. We'll bleep it out. <laughs> Yeah, but you have to talk about that. So, so I mean, that, that's that's perfect. And I'm glad you brought that up because you know Emily, uh, you've worked with Emily, you're working closely with the chamber and tourism and all that stuff. So you guys are involved in Woodford County and uh, we just we're so happy to have someone, you guys here uh, with a place like this so close. Like Emily says, I hear hop, skip, jump away. Uh, and thank you, thank you for doing it. And thank you guys for, uh, this couldn't have been, e I mean, couldn't have been easy. I mean, this has got this is a lot of hard work, right? Are you guys super excited that it's finally come to fruition? We, we, we bought it 10 days into COVID. Oh my goodness we gracious. It with our team over the course of nine months. And yeah. then we built it over nine months during COVID. Wow. And now we're open yeah. and we're that hop, skip and a jump. Perfect time. Our next project, yeah. we hope, is going to be in Woodford County. Oh, I was, I wasn't, <laughs> you told me that off, <laughs> off camera and I wasn't going to say anything, but, uh, that's really cool, and that would be so awesome because Woodford County is just booming right now, and to have someone, people as talented as you all, come in and put your spin on things will be the chef kiss. Mwah. Awesome. Thank but, you. But, guys, I mean, is there anything else you guys want to add? Anything you want to, I mean, how do we, I mean, I saw the self-check-in. That's pretty cool. Is there anything you want to talk about, how we can get a hold of websites? I think we'll, we'll, we'll websites we're really excited about being part of the broader community here. Yes. This is what we are kind of seeing as a true boutique hotel, so I know a lot boutique of people hotel, yeah. are looking for that experience. This is where you're going to get it. You're going to get that warm, true Southern hospitality, colors, mm. vibe, and everything. Um, we not, naturally, we're really big into wellness ourselves. Uh, we want we wanted to make sure that we provided a super spacious, bright, comfortable gym that actually has one of the most you know beautiful scenic views here in the area. 
So if you can't actually get out to them, you can maybe go on a treadmill and actually feel like you're maybe running or biking along that trail. Yeah, the horse yeah. 100. Yeah. That's really cool back there. And your bathrooms are really, I mean, like, who, I mean, what? I hope you got them. I, 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 I mean, who, who, I mean, really? Like, it's yeah. like, your bathrooms are really cool. They really are. <laughs> like, it, it, they didn't even leave the bathrooms out. So uh, people, humans, uh, Woodford Countyans, Lexitonians, uh, whatever, everybody, th this is an amazing place to come stay. Um, I don't want to leave, to be honest with you. you. You told me about these chairs here. You guys can't see them, but I got to, I got to try them out. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank you very, so much. much. I really appreciate you having me. And thank uh, you, Emily. Yes, <laughs> thank you, Emily. We'll, we'll see her, or we, I guess technically, uh, she's technically back because we just did our live show. Okay. But you can't see it. But we've got all the information around us, people. We've got the website, got the names, we got the stuff. So there's really no excuse not to contact, not to come here and stay and try it out. Once again, thank you guys, and what's up? With you?